Hi everyone. Thank you so much for those of you who responded to my request for some help. I um, made a decision on what to do with my ATCs. Um, there was quite a few of you who liked the number one. Um, there was more of you who liked um, this number two here. And um, most of you liked number three. But what I decided to do was incorporate two and three together. So what I've come up with um, is this. This here is three. And I decided to add a vintage lady to the to the ATC. Um, I, I'm going to change things around a little bit. Um, I think what I'll do is move the chandelier uh, behind this lace so that only a portion of the chandelier shows. And I'm going to take this chain and um, actually attach it to the top of the chandelier and sort of let it dangle down to the corner and then have the chain dangle like this and I'll add a couple more um, glass beads hanging down I think to this chain um, and I might change the color of the red um, dress form because I, I really don't think it goes but um, apart from that um, that is what I'm going to do now the only problem is I have all different types of vintage ladies um, so the ATCs won't be exactly uh, perfectly alike but I think that's okay um, I was trying to find the package and I just wanted to show you um, maybe what I'll do is once I've done them all I can sort of display them so you can see since you guys helped a lot so I have all different um, ladies but they're all sort of that glam I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one that's why I haven't cut that one out um, there's that one there and this one and then there's oh turn. there you go and that's that one this one this here and this one so I think what I will do is I'll just um, add different different ladies, but they're sort of that fashion model-less sort of vintage glam um, look. So I think that'll be nice with the uh, chandelier. It sort of makes them look like they're at a, a whole couture store or something of the sort. So thank you again for those who responded to my request. I really appreciate it. Um, it really helped a lot. Um, secondly, uh, I am doing another sw uh, swap with a lady from Canada and I wanted to just share with you what I did for her. Um, I put a special little thing in her package that I'm going to mail out today and Deb, I hope you don't mind me showing everyone but um, I really liked it so I thought I'd like to share it. I got this um, wooden initial from Michaels um, and it was on sale. I think it was like a dollar something. And so what I did was I took glass bead gel and uh, the bluish teal craft paint. I think it was acrylic paint. And I um, mixed it and spread it on the letters. And then I added some of the um, uh, bling that the swirl bling that I I purchased, and I did a a video on the haul on where I purchased it, and um, some floral prima. So let me just show you close up if you um, can see. I don't know how well it'll show, but um, I really like how that turned out. I think. Um, I, I, I um, hope, Deb, that you like blue. I guess you're away because I tried to email you and um, I never found out. And I really wanted to mail the package out tomorrow. So I hope you like blue. And uh, Paula, 
Uh, in the package that I sent you, there's a small surprise that's similar to this, but um, in your initial and your favorite color. So I'm excited for you to receive it and hope you like it. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment. Um, I really enjoy reading what you have to say, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Mm.